these are not the type of things we'd like our kids to see. A youth football league struggling to recover after their coach is shot in front of young players during practice. Police tonight still searching for the gunman. It is hard to imagine boys ages 7 to 10 witnessing their coach being shot several times. Bob Allen reports on the aftermath for that youth football league. It was business as usual for the Southwestern PA Youth Athletic League as the Homewood Bulldogs squared off against the Wilkinsburg Hornets. The league is determined to overcome negative publicity caused by a man who shot a coach during football practice. It happened Friday night at Mellon Park while the East End Raiders were practicing. Sources say the man was angry about a relative not getting playing time. We're told that when coach Antoine Fizzy Lester intervened, the man pulled out a gun and shot him several times. Fortunately, no one else was hurt. It's very concerning. Bullets don't have names on them. And there were multiple shots fired here. And, and like I said, through the grace of God, no one else got hit. Apparently, coach Lester and others at the practice are familiar with the gunman. But a league spokesman said it was strictly a football matter. Several members of the Bethany Baptist Church in Homewood were outraged by the fact that about 15 kids saw their coach get shot. Well, this is what happens when you have no respect for nobody, and especially when you have no respect for yourself. You find yourself doing things that are just crazy, and that's where we're at today. So it's misguided, uh, misguided morals, values, and principles. And I know that the coach was out trying to uh, uh, instill other morals and values into these children and uh, to have his life uh, put to danger that kind of way is just ridiculous. Police are still looking for the gunman who ran away from the scene. Meanwhile, an emergency meeting is scheduled Sunday for parents, coaches, players and others in the community to find ways to stop the violence. Bob Allen, KDKA, TV News.